Guys, we may have found a game that's even more demanding than Alan Wake 2. Yeah, and you thought it couldn't get any worse than that. What's up people of the internet, it's Paris here with yet another video. In this video we'll be testing the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1050 Mobile which is a GPU based on the Pascal architecture. It has 640 kilo cores and 4GB of VRAM in our case. We're using the latest drugs with as of the making of the video. I found the vault state using MSI after burning, you can see my curve here. This GTX 1050 Mobile is paired with the Intel Core i7-7700HQ, which is the CPU based on the Kaby Lake architecture that has 4 cores and 8 threads and a frequency of up to 3.8 GHz. I found the volt set by minus 100 MV, you can see my total stop settings here. You also have 16 GB of RAM in dual channel mode, as well as a small SSD for the operating system and a slow hard drive on which the game is installed. As for operating system, we're using Windows Excite Optimum 10 Pro version 2. All the specs are in the video description. The game that we'll be benchmarking today might be beating Alan Wake 2 in Starfield in terms of how bad can optimization go, and it's called Senua Saga Hellblade 2. Oh boy, where do I start? First of all, the game is based on Unreal Engine 5, which already sounds suspicious, since most game developers who use Unreal Engine don't know what they're doing. Second, the game has a really strange problem. You see, when you initially load into your save, even at really low settings, you might get like only 5 or 10 FPS at first. However, when you go back to the main menu and then return to your current save or go to a different chapter of the game and then return to your save, your FPS could increase to like 15 or 20. You might have to repeat this process several times to fix the FPS. On the other hand, as you progress in the game and eventually load into a cutscene or a new area, the FPS could still drop to crap and you have to repeat the reloading process that I just explained. My assumption is that Unreal NG5 has problems with shader compilation in this game, but then again, there is no excuse for this problem to exist, because the game does have a shader compilation screen when you launch it, and it's not just with my GTX 1050, some people with higher end GPU scaffolds reported this exact same problem. I'm mostly not 100% sure what's causing this problem, but I just had to mention it, because it made the making of this video so much more painful than it should have been, as I was trying to make sure the FPS were actually a bit more normal in ultra low resolutions and not for example, 9. Ugh. But hey, at least the game has really beautiful graphics when using high settings from what I've seen and it also runs well on my hard drive on like what the system requirements say, which I cannot say for Alan Wake 2, so perhaps not everything is trash optimization wise. Oh, and I'm also using a mod to get rid of the letterbox and some other effects. I will provide the download link for it in the video description. And let's get straight to the epicness now!
I will take you to my people, <laughs> like I said. He has a Not into this settlement. You have no idea what you're walking into. He wants you to die. Just turn around. I thought your father protected these people. He does. He, he can't protect people from their own stupidity. It looks like they let their guard down. They brought this on themselves. These graves. This is how we honor our dead. There will be no one to bury you. I will take you to my people, it's like nice. I said. He has a Not plan. into this settlement. You have no idea what you're walking into. He wants you to doubt. Just turn around. I thought your father protected these people. He does. He, he can't protect people from their own stupidity. It looks like they let their guard down. They brought this on themselves. Graves. This is how we honor our dead. There will be no one to bury you. These graves are new. So many bodies. So much death. So death. Well, it's not very nice for this kind of PC, but as I'm the Lord Master. I can improve the performance. So, press your Windows button, then from the start menu, go to the Windows settings, then go to system, and here are the display settings. Now, go to advanced display settings, display adapter properties, list all modes, and choose the lowest option, which should hopefully be 640 by 480. Click OK, then apply. Ladies and gentlemen, I can't believe I'm doing it with my GTX 1050, but we've lowered the desktop resolution to 640x480. We should give a very nice performance boost in Hellblade 2 if you don't mind becoming blind. So let's see those gorgeous 16K graphics! I 
will take you to my people, like I said. He has not to into this settlement. You have no idea what you're walking into. He wants you to die. Just turn around. I thought your father protected these people. He does. He, he can't protect people from their own stupidity. Looks like they let their guard down. He brought this on themselves. graves. This is how we honor our dead. There will be no one to bury you. These graves are new. So many bodies. So much death. And since we are at the eyesight destruction craze, let's lower that desktop resolution even further. Yeah, let's lower it to 400 by 300 this time. I'm not going even lower because I don't want to make the OS unusable. If you haven't become blind this time, then now you surely will. Father protected these people. He does. He, he can't protect people from their own stupidity. It looks like they let their guard down. They brought this on themselves. Graves. This is how we honor our dead. 